cybersecurity threats can come at us through other governments or through our phones from hacking by thieves, but big or small, the number of cyber threats, unfortunately, is growing. And in order to keep up, Georgia Tech has a new undergrad major that focuses on the digital threats we often don't see coming our way day after day. Fox 5i team stand and file got a behind the scenes look at this job option for today's college students. Really cool. Yeah, I heard um, a friend's son talking about wanting to go into yeah. this so I started poking around a little bit you know it we don't see it or really even likely know it's there but every day our lives our savings our safety has this invisible shield that protects us cybersecurity is not new but in the past people going into this emerging field got a master's degree maybe a continuing ed certification well now it's an undergrad major at Georgia Tech and when you graduate you can work for the government you can work for a business you could even work for the police Behind this secured door are the digital brains behind Georgia Tech's sci-fi lab. This is the server room. These machines are big, they're loud, and I gotta tell you, they put off some heat because they're crunching a lot of important information. We can analyze cyber attack trends. Brendan Saltafromaggio, an associate professor at Georgia Tech, is back and forth between here and his cyber forensics innovation lab. He says computer science is the school's fastest growing degree program. So you can come and enroll in either the computer science program or the electrical and computer engineering program and you can take what's called the cybersecurity thread. His current grad students are working on some pretty important projects like creating novel defenses against smartphone attacks and how banks and software makers can use that information. If a cyber attack happens and an attacker is able to steal your credit card off of your smartphone, how can the police recover enough evidence to put that criminal in jail? Over here, fighting back against the sometimes dark world of Bitcoin. How can the FBI track down the fraudsters that are behind these giant fraud campaigns when all of the paper trail is actually just digital currency? But starting this fall, a student can enter as an undergrad in the cybersecurity program and come out in four years with today's equivalent of three to five years working experience. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics reports an entry-level information security analysts median pay this was in 2023 was more than one hundred twenty thousand dollars the field is expected to grow by 2032 a whopping 32 percent that's much faster than almost any other field you may go work for like the government or you know the Georgia government the national government investigating cyber incidents reverse engineering cyber attacks that sort of thing Almost every business uses some form of cyber tech. Home Depot, he says, is always mining for people in this field. Companies all over the world are hiring people to do cybersecurity, uh, protect their networks, look for vulnerabilities, and patch those vulnerabilities, make sure that hacks can't occur to the company, to their customers, to just regular people. Georgia Tech develops some of the new forensics ideas and builds the prototypes that local policing agencies use. Gwinnett County's district attorney's office cracked the case for Gloria and Gary Moss, whose bank account was hacked through her phone. They helped them to recover close to $50,000. Close to 98% of all major crimes involve some type of digital data um, as far as evidence, whether it be video, uh, cell phone. So it's a, it's a crucial um, part of prosecution. Anthony Scarborough is part of the district attorney's team that solved a 2022 to murder for hire case through a cell phone's digital breadcrumbs. A lot of times the smoking gun is literally um, on the phone. Um, we'll have video, we'll have pictures, we'll have text message correspondence, um, location data that will put um, the perpetrator directly at the scene of the crime. This degree prepares the next generation of cybersecurity professionals. To... And the University of North Georgia offers a major in cybersecurity that is highly regarded nationally. It's been lauded by the NSA and Homeland Security. And more programs are expected to pop up in colleges all across the country. And students are getting better jobs. Recruiters, companies are getting better cybersecurity experts to work for them. Okay, the kinds of job titles you need to get acquainted with are software security engineer, information security analyst, 
security architect, penetration specialist, digital forensics, and maybe just a security consultant. There are so many ways to go here. So I feel like we're shifting, right? For so long, we were telling our younger folks or people transitioning, healthcare, healthcare is where, it, right. where it's at, right? Yeah, and I, we did. That was our advice, take your talents to the healthcare industry. And you can still use that in that area too. I mean, that's the thing, y you, you and I were saying, yeah. wow, what an emerging field, but Boy, we don't think we. My be, brain just just doesn't work that way. We don't think we'd way. be interested in that, but you can still. I try to tell my daughter this: you can take that thing that you're interested in. Yeah. Let's say it's art or whatever it is, and you can apply these things to the industries you like. You just have to squeeze them in to these same quarters. You can still transfer these things. Yeah. To real interests. So many opportunities now. Yeah, lots of opportunities, and I mean, this is this is the way to go, folks. And you get you get a little security, you get a little healthcare. Ta da! It's better than my English major. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dana. <laughs>